We've got 20 insane Tesla videos lined up for you in this episode, including crazy accidents and their follow-up stories. Buckle up. While Keone was driving to his sister's house in Maricopa, Arizona, he approached a newly installed traffic signal that was on its second day of operation. Keone started slowing down for the traffic in front of him, and so did the motorcyclist to his right. However, the driver of a red Hyundai behind them didn't notice traffic slowing down and slammed into the back of Keone's Tesla. Luckily, the motorcyclist hit the throttle and managed to escape the impact, driving through a hail of car parts that sprayed all over the road. Incredibly, a police officer was right behind them and saw the whole thing. The driver of the Hyundai admitted to the police that he'd looked down at his phone. By the time he looked up, it was too late. He ended up hitting the passenger corner of the Tesla, spinning it around. The rear wheel was completely ripped off the car, and we can even see the ground through the inside of the trunk. This Model 3 was brand new, with only just over 1,500 miles on it. In the end, it was totaled due to the extensive damage. Keone says the Hyundai driver was very nice and very apologetic during the whole situation. The officer didn't even ask to see the Tesla cam video because Keone's description of the accident matched the other driver's version. Unfortunately, Keone hurt his back pretty badly and is currently undergoing physical therapy. Nicole was driving her Model Y during heavy rain in Fort Worth, Texas. Just as she merged into the right lane, another Model Y in front of her lost control. The Tesla spun out and hit the concrete wall before spinning back into the right lane. Nicole managed to brake in time to avoid a Tesla versus Tesla collision. The driver of a pickup pulling a trailer also had to brake hard to avoid the Tesla. Luckily, no other vehicles were involved and the damage to the Tesla doesn't look too severe. Abdullah had parked his Model 3 in a hotel parking lot in Seattle, Washington. While he was asleep at 5.30 a.m., he got a notification from the Tesla app that his alarm had been triggered. The driver of a pickup truck had entered the parking lot. While taking a sharp left in front of Abdullah's Tesla, his trailer clipped the front bumper and ripped it halfway off. The pickup driver noticed the impact and stopped for a moment, but then he floored the gas and took off. Abdullah filed a report with the Seattle Police Department, but they said they won't assist in any way with a hit and run unless a physical injury was involved. Abdullah's insurance provider won't do anything unless he can provide the guy's license plate number, but only three digits were visible on his sentry mode video. He's now working with Washington's DOT public records to try to figure out the rest of the plate number using the vehicle's make and model. Jeff was driving west on I-70 in the rain one night. A semi-truck merged all the way over from the right lane to get into the passing lane in front of him. Suddenly, the truck braked and moved over again, revealing a wreck in the left lane. No lights were visible on the wrecked car, and Jeff only had a fraction of a second to avoid hitting it. Jeff isn't sure what happened to the wrecked vehicle since it wasn't safe for him to stop and check on the occupants. All he knows is that this experience scared the crap out of him. Jeff asked for a shout out for his son. Hey there, Nathan. Cade had gone to a comedy show and when he came back to his car, he found this sentry mode event of a kid kicking his car for no reason. There was no damage, so Cade didn't pursue it any further, other than sending it to Wham Bam, of course. Bianca was driving her Model 3 down a highway in Fort Worth, Texas, when she noticed a Honda speeding up behind her. The Honda veered into her lane and hit the back of her car, making this a high-speed Honda bump. At first, Bianca was worried the driver wasn't going to stop. But then, he pulled over and gave her all of his information. Bianca called the cops, but they told her they don't respond to car accidents in Fort Worth unless a vehicle is undrivable. Bianca told us and the police that she's fairly sure the other driver was drunk. Lawrence was driving his Model 3 in Duluth, Minnesota when an entire family of bears crossed to the street. Art's wife was driving north on Route 55 when she was passed by a Ram pickup, a white Honda Accord, and a small black car. Shortly after the vehicles passed her, the Honda signaled and merged into the right lane, closely followed by the black car. As they approached the next exit, both cars merged into the exit lane, but the black car undertook the Honda and forced them onto the gore point. The Honda driver had to brake hard to avoid hitting the exit sign. 
Ben was driving in a parking lot when he witnessed the driver of a Nissan Leaf hitting a parked car before driving away without leaving a note. Ben noticed the driver parked somewhere else, acting like nothing had happened. He left a note on the other car, and when the owner reached out to him, Ben was able to send him a copy of his Tesla cam footage. Bradley was getting ready to turn left and had turned on his signal to merge into the left turn lane. As he did so, a white Jeep came flying up and clipped the front end of his Tesla. He wasn't expecting this at all and says the only way a car could have been there was if it had illegally crossed the solid yellow line. The Jeep driver just took off. Since Bradley knew he'd caught the incident on video, he called the police, but they informed him that they couldn't locate the suspect because they couldn't identify who'd been driving the car. Bradley took his car to a detailer. Luckily, the damage turned out to be nothing more than some rubber transfer from the Jeep. For 169 US dollars, the detailer was able to remove all of it. Charlie was on his way to the middle school where he's a teacher. Suddenly, he encountered a line of stopped traffic. It looked as though the driver in front of him was going to turn without signaling. Another driver, who obviously wasn't paying attention, slammed into the stationary traffic without making any attempt to slow down. The result was a three-car accident and the negligent driver's entire front end was smashed. Charlie lets the kids into school each morning, so he wasn't able to stop and help. Besides, he's sure they could easily prove who was at fault. Michael was driving his Model 3 in Laurel, Maryland. As he pulled up to a red light, he saw a plague doctor waiting to cross the street. Now that's some scary stuff. Michael told us he laughed when this happened, but we're guessing it was a nervous laugh, right? Andy was driving his Model 3 behind a line of cars in the passing lane on a highway in San Bernardino, California. That's when he noticed the truck behind him speed up to pass him on the right. When the truck passed, Andy looked over and watched the driver toss a coin at his Tesla. It made a loud noise as it hit the passenger window. The guy then sped up to get back into the passing lane in front of Andy. He has no idea why the guy did this, but Andy pulled out his phone to take a picture of his license plate in case the Tesla cam hadn't captured it clearly. Andy thinks the driver got spooked when he saw his phone come out because he cut into traffic to make a quick escape. Coincidentally, it just so happened that they both needed to take the same exit. As Andy was about to pass him on the right, he threw his truck in front of Andy again. At this point, Andy knew something strange was going on and he wanted nothing to do with it. He decided to get out of there since he already had all the information he needed. After all was said and done, Andy reported the reckless driver to the police. Luckily, the coin didn't damage his car at all. Aram was driving in the right lane when, all of a sudden, a lady cut in front of him. He tried to maneuver around her, but then she stopped in the middle of the intersection. A heated argument ensued about who was at fault. Aram told her he'd captured the incident on video, but she still insisted on calling the cops. When they arrived, Aram pulled out his video for them. Once they'd watched it, they gave him an incident report stating that the other driver was at fault. The passenger side axle had been ripped apart. The total repair bill came to 8,000 US dollars. Jared was at work on Halloween and had to park on the street because the parking lot was full. A group of trick-or-treaters decided that his Tesla was actually a chair and jumped right up on the hood. The sentry mode lasers flashed at them and they went running off. Thankfully, there was no visible damage to the car. A few hours after the first clip, another group of kids decided they also wanted to jump on the hood of Jared's vehicle. Jared confirmed that there's no sign on his car that reads jump on me, so he doesn't know why everyone seems to have the urge to do so. Once again, there was no damage left by the kids. Actually, based on their clothing, I think that might be the same group of kids. Isn't that the same hoodie? As Hector was entering I-87, he tried to merge ahead of a funeral convoy. That's when he noticed a truck dangerously moving all the way from the left lane and into the center lane, forcing Hector to break abruptly. Then, the semi-truck rear-ended an SUV just a few hundred feet away, again forcing Hector to break, this time to a complete stop. Hector maneuvered around the truck to see the damage, but it didn't look too bad. The other driver was out of their car and was getting ready to have a very interesting conversation about what had just happened. The next submitter asked to be anonymous because his wife was driving and had started enjoying their 400-plus horsepower Tesla when this happened. 
Thankfully, he says he wasn't in the car with her at the time or he would have gone crazy over the way she was driving. His wife was found to be at fault because she hadn't come to a complete stop at the stop sign. Alex was waiting at a traffic light in Tallahassee, Florida. When the light turned green, the Nissan in front of him didn't start moving right away. Unfortunately, the Jaguar behind Alex did, rear-ending Alex's Tesla and pushing it into the Nissan. This essentially made an accident sandwich with Alex's Tesla as the filling. When the police arrived, they had trouble figuring out who was at fault. Alex told an officer he had video of the accident and once he'd seen the clip, he said, that's clear as day. The total cost to repair the damage, are you sitting down, was 20,000 US dollars. The Florida man sent us another video. This time, he narrowly avoided a red light runner in a Home Depot rental truck. Afterward, he says he drove off safely to resume routine Florida man activities. We have no idea what this means and we're not sure if we want to know. Stewart was driving his Model 3 in Everett, Washington when he was passed by this famous movie car. Leave a comment if you know what movie this car is from. 